Apparently there's a clip showing Jimin having his hand around a girl and what is happening with this and why are people talking about it. We also have people saying that Jimin said I love you and why this was said and then we have videos being removed and people complaining about unfair treatment. So you don't mean it's Dave Desai, let's get into it. So this first story is definitely a little bit of an update on what recently had happened. Basically, if you're unaware, a lot of fan cam videos have been taken down. Specifically V and people had a lot to say about this. There was a video that reached 17 million views and it was a fan cam of V which was then copyrighted by the label. The label is believed to have since then reinstated the video. But what I initially believe was the reason why people were upset was actually not the reason why people were upset. I believe people were upset because they didn't want all their videos to be removed, and especially videos that were honoring their favorite celebrity. But instead outright admitting that I feel like personally a lot of these people have chosen a roundabout way to essentially say the same thing. People were actively trying to say that this was unfair treatment against V. So instead of people saying that this was unfair treatment against their channel and against something that they posted, they're trying to say that this is unfair against V. Now do I actually believe that? I'm sure there are a lot of people who would actively say yeah I do believe this was unfair treatment of V. And I'm not specifically mentioning this person who got 17 million views and their fan cam, but I believe that there are are a lot of people out there who were just using this idea of it being unfair to V because they didn't want their video that had a lot of views to be deleted. A lot of times within the community, people are very much status oriented and that comes at a huge detriment. They don't like this idea that something that they uploaded that they did really well would get removed. And in order to get the community to care, in order to get the label to care, they have to make it about their favorite idol instead of just saying what is really bothering them. What the community had attempted to do, at least from what I'm aware of, was say that the label was mistreating V because they were removing only V's content. First of all, that's simply not true. Oftentimes, if one specific artist's content is being removed, they will remove other artists too. And it's not this idea of picking someone they dislike and then it just so happens to be poor victim V. This happens widely within several different communities and within several different groups. So it probably is more so random and it wasn't because they wanted to victimize any specific person. It makes literally zero sense for a label to attack their own artists. Exactly what would they gain from this? Exactly what would they gain from trying to humiliate their artists? And exactly what would they gain from not promoting their artists? What would they gain from trying to sabotage their artist's career? If it happens, and it will happen with any company, it's happening by mistake. Which is exactly why when a lot of people messaged the label and they were made aware of this, they reinstated all the videos that they removed. Songs have to be copyrighted and they're usually copyrighted by Google and with YouTube. So when these things are copyrighted, they have to kind of sit there and pick and choose how the copyright is going to be enforced. And sometimes it slips through the cracks and Google and YouTube go back to old habits and start removing videos. I believe this is more so a technical error than it was YouTube or Google or the label trying to actively take videos down. There are so many misconceptions online that always it makes me upset when a lot of people refuse to look into things because a lot of that thing that I talk about can easily be searched up. Now of course a lot of things that I talk about come with being in the industry for a long time, understanding how people operate within the industry, how things operate, and what the purpose of these things are. But if people are confused, there are resources to figure it out. It literally wouldn't even take 10 minutes of anyone's time to find the answer to a lot of these things because the thing that is the most usually unbiased thing that you use to search things up is ChatGPT. If you were to write in so-and-so label bad and they did this and this, you'll get a plethora of suggestions of what could be the reason why these things are happening. And usually AI is not going to be biased and say something mean or call the label bad or say anything bad. So the fact that people aren't looking this up to me tells me that there's a different reason behind why they're upset and it's not because it's victimizing V. That literally would take three seconds out of your time to write in a question, search it and read it. But people instead choose to go online and get upset and then they trend something and they try to get thousands of other people to trend the exact same thing. And this is upsetting because now it's not just one person who is not looking into things fully and not understanding things. There are thousands of people now following this person and hate and trending hate and it's often something that people would love to jump on. But I'm sitting here trying to explain and break things down and hope people can find understanding and compassion. I've seen people with 30 followers being able to start a whole movement about being angry towards the label. However, despite a lot of people falsely claiming that I have been the cause of a lot of drama and rumors online, I'm at the very least, if you don't believe I'm trying to spread good messages, at least talking about quelling anger right now. And I've never seen the spread of compassion and understanding online from these things. Most people just choose to be angry. Now again, I'm not talking about the person who had 17 million views. I think they're 
video should be reinstated. That was like the only fan cam video of V at that moment. So I was very happy to see it. So this is not about that. But I see so many rumors online and sometimes they, people get upset. But the very least about what I'm going to talk about now is a little bit lighter and less serious. I saw a post that Jimin made not too long ago and people were talking about the timing of this post specifically. And I mean hours and minutes. There's been a lot of rumors about who the BTS members are in a romantic relationship with. And one that has sort of survived the test of time, even with Jimin being in the military right now, is people thinking that him and Solgi from Red Velvet are in a relationship together. One of the quote unquote pieces of evidence that was being brought up was the fact that during Solgi's birthday, Jimin posted a photo or a selfie of himself, and it was posted at a very specific time. It was believed that Jimin posted around 1.43, and people were saying that if you take the number 1.43, it means I love you. So count the letters and the words of I love you and you'll get 1.43. Now this is a little bit of a stretch, because as far as I'm aware of, I don't think it's possible to specifically schedule posts on the platform that he's been posting on. But I don't know what features artists have versus people who are just regular users. So that theory aside, it's so very strange to see people that are saying this specific time and this specific posting time would equate to anything more than just him hitting the post button around that time. How many other posts online have existed around that time and were posted around that time? Why not say that she's dating any of those people? Another theory that was very interesting was this idea of Jimin apparently having his arms around someone after a show. So there was this clip not too long ago where people saw Jimin apparently on stage dancing with Red Velvet on stage and sort of doing the same dance moves. And then of course people think that since they did this, they could have potentially met up many other times or whatever and have interacted a lot together. So then apparently this clip came out where it appeared to be Jimin putting his arms around a girl. People were then saying, you can tell that this girl is Solgi because of the way she's walking and that real fans know how she walks. Now, of course, I don't have to explain that this is far-fetched, but even assuming that this is true, it still doesn't make any sense because of what I'm about to say. First off, we don't even know if this is Jimin. The only thing that would imply that this is Jimin would be the hair, and literally anyone could have this haircut. And also, we do not see the face of any of the people here. The height difference is also a little bit stark as well, as it seems like the girl is around the chin or the upper chin part of the person that's having their hands around her. And I've seen reports that Jimin is either 5'9 or 5'7, and Solki from Red Velvet is supposed to be 5'3. So the height difference that we're seeing doesn't even necessarily make sense for those two numbers. So it's easy to take a clip and just put any sort of story behind it and say whatever you want about this clip that shows no one's face. When I saw this clip, I didn't even think it was Jimin. I actually initially thought it might be Jackson Wang. And I'm not saying that it is. I have no clue who this actually is, but just like the body that tanked up the hair, even just from the back to me appeared like it could have been Jackson Wang. And my point here isn't that it is Jackson, but my point is that it could have been anyone. Of course, people like this idea that Jimin would have put his arms around someone and would have implied that he was in a relationship with someone. But I just don't think people fully grasp how busy the boys actually are, like when they're in the spotlight. Not to bring in another group or another person, but we can draw reference from people who maybe are just as famous, but have been able to be in a relationship. So for example, if we are drawing in Jenny from Blackpink and the fact that she has been very open or at the very least, the media has been very open about the idea that she has been in some relationships. The only way that I would see that that relationship would even happen and that she would have enough time to even maintain it is because she and her group make music like once every four years. So the girls make a butt ton of money, they take a break for a while, and what they do with their time at that point, they can go on dates or do whatever. But for the decade that the BTS members have been active, I think they've only taken like one or two breaks and they've usually gone one album after the other and just kept touring. So do I think that they've actually had time to do anything romantic or do anything for themselves even? No, I don't. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.